Hello everyone, welcome to I Can Has Draw. This is Sherry, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw a fancy pumpkin with polka dots and pinstripes. Uh, I hope you got to see the other pumpkin tutorial I made because it's basically the same, uh, the same rules, just make a really big oval or circular shape depending on how you want your pumpkin to look. And uh, then just draw the stem. Uh, and then you're going to make overlapping ovals to create the ribs of the pumpkin. When you're making the ribs, uh, make sure that you make them wide enough so you can put in the patterns later. At least two or three of them. Uh, it's okay if the ones that are receding behind the pumpkin get a little bit smaller, but you want at least two or three that are big enough you can uh, put in you know your your polka dots and stripes that looks pretty good so before I do in any put in any of the patternings I'm going to outline my pumpkin method that I use to get these nice smooth lines is just to start from one point and pull gently to the other one. Just staying focused on the line the whole time. Point and pull. Point and pull. There we go. Now that the pumpkin's been drawn, it's time to erase all those pencil lines. I'm going to flash forward through all that crazy erasing so I don't you don't have to spend your time watching me erase. There. That looks pretty good. Nice and clean. Next, I'm going to take my pencil back and I'm going to go ahead and draw two stripes on the very front rib of the pumpkin. And the reason why I'm doing this freehand and not with a ruler is because I've had a lot of practice just keeping my wrists loose. If you want to use a ruler, that's fine. Uh, you'll want to curve it a little bit to make sure it looks organic and not stiff. Uh, for the circles, I do the same thing. I do freehand. If you're more comfortable using, uh, like, say, a thimble or, or something small and round that you can trace around, that's fine, too, uh, whatever you'd like to do. Here, for the polka dots, I'm trying to keep the shapes and sizes kind of um, giving them some variety. They're not all the exact same shape. Excuse me, the exact same size. They're all the same shape, they're just not the same size. And on the outer ribs I'm drawing uh, another stripe. Now that that's done, I'm taking my Sharpie marker back and this time instead of using the wide tip, I'm using the very fine tip to outline these patterns. Now I know in the video here you may not be able to see the ink very well, but I promise you it is there. The reason why I picked a fine tip is because I want to be able to see where I need to color different um, different parts without bleeding over and messing it up. Uh, and I also don't want to draw too much attention to um, the shapes with the black outline. Uh, I want the colors to contrast and do that work themselves instead of having this really bold line. Uh, I think it'd be competitive. It would be competing with the outline of the pumpkin itself. Um, and I was actually I was just trying to use a gel pen uh, for another drawing of mine, and I tried to use colored marker with it, so it smears, it smudges. Uh, I recommend not using gel pens. The Sharpie marker works really well because it does not smudge, so uh, just get yourself a permanent ink marker that will not smudge. Gel gel, ink, gel pins don't do that. They don't work very well for that purpose, so stay away from those if you're going to color. I really enjoy the whimsical nature of this pumpkin. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun to color. And now that I've done, I've finished outlining the patterns I'm erasing, all those pencil lines, uh, you'll see that 
the marks that I made are still there, even though I raised the pencil, but they're very fine, which as I said before, is going to help me keep, uh, keep the colors from mixing. I'm going to start with an orange, and I think I'm going to go ahead and start by coloring these stripes, the orange. If anyone's ever gone to Hobby Lobby or an arts and crafts store, if they looked at a magazine uh, like for Halloween or fall, you might have noticed there's this new trend for decorating to take ribbons and pin them on pumpkins vertically all around. And it looks really cute and pretty. Uh, so this design is kind of um, uh, kind of based off of that. It's inspired from, from that idea. Um, and I figured uh, in, most of the ones I've seen are black and orange or black and white. I really like the idea of using really bright colors, so in this instance I'm using orange, the brightest orange I can find, and the brightest lime green I can find, and a rich purple. So the end result of this pumpkin is going to have orange, green, and purple. And this is a fun design for anyone who's wanting to celebrate Halloween but is not they're not into the gory, creepy stuff. You can still celebrate the holiday. Uh, and keep it clean. Alright, I'm done coloring the orange stripes. Now I'm going to go back in with a green. I'm going to fill in all those spaces between the orange stripes. And as I mentioned before, I picked a really bright lime green. That'll really make some contrast. Help both those colors pop. And this part may be meticulous, uh, it may be very time consuming for some. I know I was very careful and deliberate, um, I'm careful and deliberate here while coloring. And um, it's important to probably do so, so you don't uh, mess anything up by accident. It can be kind of meditative too, while you're coloring, it's like coloring in a coloring book, you know? Just color in between the lines and breathe. <laughs> I think this would make a really cute design for a Halloween card. I don't know if any of y'all out there like to make your own cards, but I'll bet you if you do make this card for somebody, like a family member or someone you really love or a good friend, they'll probably enjoy it. Next I'm coloring in the polka dots and um, because I've got a lot of green going on, I'm not going to color a whole bunch of the polka dots. I'm just doing, you know, four on this side. Um, I don't want them to be all jumbled up. I'm trying to keep it balanced looking and I am playing it by ear but that tends to be my style so if you want to plan ahead and practice that's fine too. Okay, I'm going to take my orange back out and color in the rest of those dots. It's starting to look very festive. It's like Easter except Halloween. It's like an Easterized version. Looks like an egg. Painted egg. Okay, so I'm done coloring with my orange. Now, remember that purple I was telling you guys about? It's time to whip that out. And I'm going to fill in the space left behind from all those polka dots with a brilliant royal purple. And look at how it makes that orange and green pop. I think that is beautiful. Very festive, colorful, appropriate. Something that just came to mind here while I'm coloring away so meticulously, uh, I'm sure you guys are having fun drawing all these designs at home. We're also um, open to taking y'all's work, like if you want to send your images in by email, uh, you can just email at 
icanhasdraw at gmail. Also, we have a Facebook page. Please come check us out there. Uh, you can submit your pictures uh, to us through, through Facebook. And uh, we can make a compilation of people's drawings, you know, every few weeks. Just depends on how often people send in their drawings. But we we want to see. Um, I would love to see uh, what everyone's work is. Uh, we'll probably be sharing some of my kids' work too. They really love watching the videos, and um, I think they'll be fun. You know, it's fun to see everyone's work. Don't be shy. Uh, or if you if you did something like a craft idea, like I was mentioning cards. If you want to send a greeting card to somebody, show me, you know, send us a picture of that. We'd love to see what you guys do with your artwork. I know this is taking a long time, guys. It's okay, though. Don't feel frustrated if you feel like you're taking too long. That's okay. Take your time. That's totally normal. You think this is taking a long time? Try doing it in acrylic paints. Or oils. My goodness. Oils take a ridiculously long time. I think this pattern works well for colored markers because um, it's a really simple. I find that the simpler drawings I do, the, the better the colored markers work for the drawing. Like if I, if I do a more complex image, it just it looks a little crazy. So someday I may start using colored pencils. I don't know yet. I, I can't guarantee that, but I think I might try that uh, for my more elaborate scenes. So there we go, we finished coloring in the purple. Uh, for that stem, I'm going to go ahead and bring my Sharpie marker back out. I'm just going to color it black. I think that will work well for the Halloween uh, color theme. There we go. Looking good. So there you go, there's your fancy pumpkin with pinstripes and polka dots. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please share and subscribe um, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Y'all have a great day.